Hello guys, greetings from Silent Infotech. Uh, today we will discuss about the inventory management application in Odoo. If you haven't installed inventory app, then go through the app and search inventory. You can see the app inventory management and click on the install button and you can see that install app uh, on Odoo environment. Let's click on inventory app and uh, let's click to inventory app to explore it. After click on inventory app, you can see that the menus like dashboard, operations, master data, reporting and configuration. First, we will go through the configuration to set the inventory rules. We will go through the, you can here, you can see that the under configuration, the setting, warehouse management, operations type, pro, uh, product categories, etc. First, we will go through the settings. Here, you can see, set the inventory rules for the operations. Here, I will click the barcode scanner, delivery packages and shipping rules for UPS, FedEx, etc. The products, attribute and variants, product packages, traceability, costing, warehouse management and advanced scheduling. Another rule is uh, to save this rule, just click on save button. Now we will go through the warehouse management. We will go through the warehouse. Here you can see that the warehouse name, you can uh, see uh, like uh, your company name. You can set here the warehouse your company. If you want to edit the information, you can set here the warehouse short name and address. Just click on save button. Then my company Chicago, you, here you can see that the already created warehouses. Now we will go through the operations type. Here you can see that the operations type like receipts and delivery orders already created. If you want to create another, just click on create button and you can set uh, here the operation types name, the reference sequence, the, uh, the type of operations. Here I will set the the reference sequence, cache, the operation is a vendor operation, the operation type for uh, your company deliver orders and show details on the operations. Just click if you want to, uh, if you want to select this and pack, allow to moving the packs. Just click on save button and here you can see that the created operations. Now we will go through the products uh, product here you can create the product categories like all internal means here you can uh, select the uh, where product is stored that means in the product category you can create the category of, for stockable uh, stockable stockable product here i can create the category name set the parent category logistics for force removal strategy and the inventory valuation now we will go through the attributes here you can create the product attribute if you have a if you have a multiple uh, products allow with different colors you can set here the product attribute like colors for memory shape size types of watch wi-fi etc see here you can see that if you want to import then you can import from the outside now we will go through the attribute value here you can see that uh, we have uh, we have seen uh, we have seen that color and the color attribute value is white black silver gold copper etc here uh, in the product packages in the product packages you can set uh, here how the product will be delivered or uh, how the product will be packed here you can see that i have created the home delivery uh, package type is home delivery or you can create another if you want here package type for the product name the quantity per package and the barcode now we will go through the master data section 
in the master data section you can see that the multiple uh, menu items product product variants reordering rules and packages we will go through the product here you can see that the already created products and if you want to create a new product just click on create button here i will create the product like uh, earrings here you can see that the product type is consumable service or stockable product here i will select product as a consumable consumable product i will select the uh, product category as all uh, the uh, sale price is uh, 5000 cost is 5000 and you can set here the product is can be sold or can be purchased here i will select the information about the product product images here i will select the image just click on save button if you want to edit the information just click on edit button and you can edit the information about the product variant the product variant here the attribute is a color the color is either gold product attribute value is gold either silver copper etc in the sales section you can add here the notes the purchase information the vendor information you can add here the product variant here the earrings uh, the minimal quantity is 25 the price is 5000 the validity the delivery time is 15 days product name etc and save and close the vendor is you can set here the rules in the inventory section you can make the operations uh, set the operations rules by buy or make to orders here you can set the uh, product weight volume and the responsible person for this operation and the customer lead time is 15 days and the packaging product name is package type here you can set the home delivery for the earrings quantity per package is one and save and close button in the invoicing section you can see here the customer uh, the multiple taxes like customer taxes and the vendor taxes here you can see that the invoicing policies or order per quantity and the control policies now click on save button here you can see that the added product here the earrings if you want to if you have a multiple products like one lakh product or 65000 if you choose or find or search any particular product you can here you can search uh, earrings you can see that the particular product i search is here now we will go to the product variant here you can see here you can create quick create the product variants if you want here uh, when i click on create you can set here the product name uh, when we have uh, when we uh, right now we so uh, we learn about this and you can set here the product variants the product is general information about sales purchase and inventory invoicing and notes here you can see that the already created the product variants for if I want to search about the earrings here you can see that the uh, recently we created the earrings is either is silver gold or copper we uh, just created it now we will go through the reordering rules in the reordering rules section you can see that uh, see that the already created reordering rules if you want to create another just click on create and you can see that the operation number the product is earring and the minimal quantity is 25 the mini maximum quantity is 50 
the quantity multiple one the lead time is 15 days and day to purchase here we will set and just click on save button here you can see that the reordering rules now we will go through the reporting section in the reporting section you can see that the uh, menu items like inventory inventory valuation and the product moves in the inventory when i click on the inventory uh, you can choose here the inventory report the current inventory or at a specific inventory or at the specific date and click on retrieve the inventory quantity then you can then you can uh, see that the list of products and when I click on a particular product you can see that the uh, where it is available in the stock means it shows the location in the warehouse now we will go through the product valuation inventory valuation here you can see that the inventory valuation is shows as a product valuation in the product valuation section you can check and update the product values means when i click on update quantity uh, on hand here you can see that when i click here the update quantity on hand it will show the pop up and you can add the value on hand quantity quantity about i will add here the graphics card quantity is 30 and click on apply here you can add the product quantity and now we will go through the product move in the product move in this section you can check the product delivery status means you can check the check the source of the product and where it is located in the warehouse you can also check product is either deliver or not now we will go through the operation section in the operation section first we will go through the transfer in the transfer uh, here we can see that the transfer is shown as shows as a stock operation in this section you can create the immediate product transfer you just need to fill the all information about the about the partner schedule date operations and add additional information and click on save button here you can see that the already created stock operations now we want to create new just you can add the partner name the schedule date and the product is earrings and the initial demand earrings here you can see that the sale price is 5000 and save it here you can add the operation information and in the additional information you can set here the shipping policy as soon as possible the operation type is your company receipt and just click on save button you here you can see that the, this number is warehouse the product is going uh, the whin0009 uh, is the warehouse number this number shows the product is available in the warehouse and you can change the stage is ready when i click on validate button you can see here you can see here uh, the, it is in ready stage now by clicking on apply button here i have select the warehouse number When I click on validate, it shows the ready stage and now we will go through the inventory adjustment. In this section, you can create your own inventory reference. By this, you can know the source location of the product. You can create your own inventory to manage the product and its variants. 
here i uh, when i click on the here you can set the inventory reference and the inventory of all products particular product category one product only select the product manually and pack the inventory date and the force of accounting date here you can see that the inventory reference are created here i have created the inventories for the graphics card here you can see that i added product here etc now we will go through the scrap in the scrap in this section you can check the available quantity and you can validate it here is the scrap number and the product is uh, data card and the warehouse packing picking number and the expected date if you want to create you can add here the product is earrings gold the package is one and the expected date is this just click on save click on validate and you can set here the uh, you can uh, set here is i uh, the product uh, insufficient quantity you took this card or confirm just click on confirm button you can set the uh, stage is done here you can see that the earrings is gold and the status is done now we will go through the run scheduler when i click on run scheduler it will shows the message when you run the scheduler odoo try uh, odoo tries to uh, reserve the available stock to fulfill the existing picking and verify if someone reordering rules should be triggered when i click on run scheduler it will shows product thank you